Hi, it's June 4th, 2012. This is a video log for Scoperta Project. This is our latest and greatest piece of work that we've done. This is our first prototype frame. Uh, Jim Ackeson has done almost all the welding. He's very happy. And what we have here is a frame that's approximately 22 inches long, 15.5, sorry, 16.5 inches wide, and about 12 inches tall. It's big enough to fit two of the longer aircraft size batteries and uh, about an inch and a half uh, deeper than it needs to be, so we have a little room for the seating and equipment. We've put a couple of casters on the front and they're affixed with an inch and a half diameter, outer diameter uh, steel pipe, 1 16th. And uh, inside we have a, a bearing and bushing combination with a long bolt. Looks a little bit like this when it's inside. And so this gives us, in this particular frame design, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of ground clearance underneath the chassis. On the back, what we're going to end up having is a steel plate that's going to fit on just like so. And uh, there we go. Our two motors are going to go roughly like that to be bolted on the back. That's what it's going to end up looking like in profile. So this is our first prototype. There's approximately, uh, I think, six hours of shop time. Maybe eight. Maybe eight total. Yeah, probably eight. And, uh, and uh, that's what we, we learned. Need to do. We learned an awful lot about welding during this little process. Like, for example, positive and negative are very <laughs> important. I did a make conversion on my welder and forgot to flip the positive and negative. The difference has been these welds, which are spotty and are not very clean, to these welds, which are incredibly flush and the penetration is absolutely amazing. It's very, very deep. So, so good educational experience. So, uh, on behalf of uh, Mike Herman and, and Jim Ackerson, we'll talk to you soon.